Hey guys, Tyler here. For this video, I'm going to share my two cents on this whole entire controversy with this Netflix movie called Cuties. Now, this production was done in France and it premiered in front of an audience at Sundance, which is kind of strange because Sundance is actually, you know, infamous for actually arresting somebody caught with pedophilia. But anyway, it finally came to the United States on September the 6th or whatever. And of course, here's my personal thoughts about this whole entire controversy. Because I think there should be like a middle ground for this sort of conversation. The first time I found this news about this movie was through this poster right here. Now, when I saw this poster for the very first time, I was just appalled about the amount of exploitation they used for these little girls to be in the poster. And of course, I saw the description from Netflix, and the description said that it was about a, a group of girls who wanted to twerk, and like, oh my god, this is awful, this is terrible. And of course, the movie finally came out, and I saw a clip of it on Netflix, and it's just as bad as the poster, and also the description that Netflix wrote. Now, apparently the story is about a group of girls or a girl who went from like one extreme, which is like the Islamic fundamentalist household, where basically any type of sexual stuff is like prohibited, to the other extreme, which is, you know, dancing and twerking and stuff. And so apparently the movie's about like the girl going from one extreme to the other extreme and not in the middle. Now, the idea of the movie itself doesn't seem too bad because there are movies in which the characters actually go from one extreme to the other extreme before going to the middle. And so I think the concept itself is really interesting, I'll say that much. However, to go about the whole entire thing like they did, I think is a horrible, horrible case. Now, on Twitter, I saw somebody just compare this movie to tra like Taxi Driver with Jodie Foster, where Jodie Foster actually played a prostitute for that movie. Now, there's a big difference between what happened in Taxi Driver and what happened in Cuties. You see, for Taxi Drivers, like the main characters actually went against like the pimp that actually got like Jodie Foster's character as a prostitute. And so towards the end of the movie, he starts shooting at the place and started to save, like, Jodie Foster. But also, there was, like, no scenes of Jodie Foster actually having sex with strangers and stuff. And so, the way that they actually handled that topic for, um, Taxi Driver was actually really good and actually tasteful. Now, for the case of Cuties, there could be a way to just, you know, show your message about, you know, how bad it is to sexually exploit kids without showing kids literally twerking or become naked on camera. <laughs> I mean, like for the case of like, of course I said earlier, like with Taxi Driver, they didn't show anything at all. And so if there was a case for like cuties to actually be remade again, they should probably, you know, focus on the audience reaction. Do not show like the freaking kids just twerking on camera. Like have the current go up and then you just film the audience reaction to just how awful it is. That's what I would do as a director. As a director, I would not show directly, of course, like how this actually happened. I would just show the act, like the reaction of the audience to give my mission to course about how bad it is. And also, what's so sad about this, even though I'm pretty sure that the filmmaker has good intentions, is that the whole entire clip show of them just twerking and stuff and becoming naked and fingering their pussy. And, it was like, basically, I think that it would actually scar them for life. It will scar them for life because I'm sure that there are some pedophiles out there wanting to cut a part of that movie out, upload it on pedophile sites, and of course, you know, do whatever. It's just very sad, and the girls will probably be scarred for life because of this. It's just awful. So the best way to get your point across is not necessarily to just show the action on screen. It's to actually imply what happened without having to exploit the girls. But what do you guys think? 
tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time.